In our previous episodes of Long Way From Home, we jumped on a ship to Vancouver Island and explored Victoria and Souk. Now we're headed to Port Renfrew. It's only an hour drive, but there are a lot of stops we want to make along the way. From exploring the beautiful beaches in southwest Vancouver Island, to standing beneath some of the world's most gigantic trees, our trip from Souk to Port Renfrew is one you don't want to miss. We started our road trip at the Sheringham Point Lighthouse and fueled up for a big day of adventure at a local cafe. Uh, we just devoured a pitch trees at Shirley Cafe. I highly recommend the Surely cherry, delicious, actually. Or, what was it? Cherry mango cocoa <laughs> Muffin. Muffin. <laughs> and the mocha. I just thought with the normal Melanie said it was really good. Like a uh, Colombian grandma's hot chocolate. <laughs> exactly. So it's a must stop? Oh, for sure. But they're closed on Wednesday. Tuesday. Tuesday. Sorry. They do close at 3 p.m. And they close at 3 p.m. So get here early. Get here often. We already saw one. French Beach next on our soup to Port Renfrew travel. Beautiful rocky beach. The weather, although it's so gray and I think it could rain any second, it's actually pretty warm now down by the water. First signs about bears yesterday and today in the area, so pick up now be attached to the handy dandy hitchhiker leash here from Ruffler. We're really digging it. Plus, we have a poop bag where we can put her smelly poops if she decides to lay one out here. Um, you good? Yeah, I'm trying to put it back together. It appears as if something fell. <laughs> what were you trying to do? Nelly, get inside with the dog. Careful, you might get buried alive down there. Maybe. All right, come on, you two. Ooh, that one was even better. You want some? No, gracias. They're really good. We've got an eagle up above us, guys. We just saw this eagle fly out to the ocean, pick up a snack, and bring him back to the tree and we're standing right below him, just watching him chow down on something, guessing fish. He's dropping a lot of pieces, <laughs> so it must take him like all day to get full. I don't really know that many eagle facts. Evan is pretty sure that these eagles, or this particular eagle, looks a lot different than the ones in Alaska. You tell us. Did you see the ones that we saw in Alaska? Does this one look different? A four minute drive down the road was another wonderful beach with a waterfall. This one's called Sandcut Beach. What's up with all the rocks? Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I guess that's what you're supposed to do here <laughs> on the show. <laughs> you bring a rock back up from the beach as a uh, memory. They didn't even do a good job on the rocks here. These are like Disneyland rocks. You can tell, I mean, the texture is fake. It just doesn't even look real. You think they would try harder since it's out in nature? Nope. I'm not carrying that, it stinks. Luckily, we have our handy dandy poop pouch. 
Oh, wow. Stench away. <laughs> that concludes today's activities. We're gonna head back to camp. I think we successfully avoided the rain, just barely starting to come down. So that means it's time for us to go hide in our van. <laughs> Today, Chef Evan has whipped us up a uh, fake chicken. That's what we call it. It's vegan chicken. Inside a hot dog bun, I have decided to top it with ghost pepper chips. And then we have a potato medley on the side. White potatoes and sweet potatoes. And I forgot to mention, there's cashew sauce inside the hot dog bun. Wow. I get the bottom of it. Can I get some of those chips? A real delicacy. China Beach and Mystic Beach were right next to each other, but totally different hikes. China Beach was um, kind of an easier stroll, large, wide gravel path to get to the beach, which we um, naively expected Mystic Beach to be like that too, because that's one of the more popular ones. We're at Mystic Beach today. I hear that there is a waterfall, a suspension bridge, a beach. What more could you ask for? Let's go check it out. What always makes a hike 10 times more fun? A suspension bridge. 10 times, huh? Careful. Hike report. So this trail is uphill both ways. Sloppy, rooty, muddy. On the list was Mystic Beach. We made it down, but we made a very tactical error. I thought it was going to be a short hike. It was a little longer than I expected, and we brought no water <laughs> and no food, except like a couple of treats for Penelope. We have a long, muddy, thirsty walk back to the van. The only distinct memory about the beaches for me was there was like a slot canyon that had a waterfall in it. Not sure where it was, but one of the beaches had it. That's the one I would go to. Now it's time to pivot from beaches to forest to check out the infamous Big Lonely Dug. Are we sitting against this? What's wrong? <laughs> Are you a little scared of that? It's only a little close to the edge. <laughs> I feel very uncomfortable. We are out here in the middle of nowhere, Port Renfrew, up in the logging roads. We're on our way to go see Big Lonely Doug. What is Big Lonely Doug? It's not a person, it's actually a tree. This is the second largest Douglas fir tree in Canada, standing lonely in an old logged area of the forest. An interesting sight if you have extra time in your schedule. Back in there. We 
We've made it to Botanical Beach, next on our list of places to explore here in Port Renfrew. Lonely Doug was really interesting to see, uh, but he was pretty lonely. So hopefully the uh, aquatic life here at Botanical Beach and the infamous clear tide pools are more um, social, unlike Lonely Doug. <laughs> Welcome to the world's coolest aquarium. The tide pools here are very clear. You can see in there perfectly. There's a bunch of sea urchins, like thousands, and lots of anemones. We can't touch them. We gotta respect the wildlife, you know? It's really fun, and it's kind of one of those things where you can just walk around everywhere and explore and see what you can find, and uh, hopefully not get hit by a wave. our Coco Pelli, our Costco life jacket. <laughs> that thing is baller for I was gonna pay out, like 120 for one from REI that was really pretty. Um, but then I found this one for 30 bucks at Costco. Do we really need to explain our bargain hunting? Uh, <laughs> I don't feel as legit, but it's okay. I'm not a pack rafter. We are at Fairy yet. Lake. Yet, yet. This has had one maiden voyage in Evan's mom's pool. Um, so now we're taking it on its true maiden adventure. At Fairy Lake, I'm gonna paddle out to a bonsai tree. I, it's not a bonsai tree, but it's a tree. Okay, we're in. We're in. No, I'm out. Give me a second. See ya! I'm out here. Nelly's not happy about it. She always wants to be part of the adventure. Let's get to the tree. Berries and bear spray. <laughs> uh, we're scouting out some camping spots. These didn't work out, but they did have berries. They would have worked out if they weren't on burn out bridge. Yeah. There's a lot of like really fast moving cars out here because this is like a forest road, but highly traveled. And it seems like people come here just to speed race. We're still looking for camp. <laughs> and we drove to a tree. <laughs> Another tree. <laughs> Another tree. I think it was called the spruce tree. Anyway, there's a river right next to it and we walked down there and we came upon what I'm pretty sure were frogs mating. But it was fascinating to watch. <laughs> and they left behind like a Evan called it a tail but then it was like 10 feet long so I'm pretty sure it was like the string of their eggs laying their eggs although they were both laying the strings so that doesn't make sense what do you mean 
They were both mating. They were both laying strings. In my in my head, the string was already the egg, not the sperm and the egg. So one was laying the sperm, one was laying the egg, and then I guess the two strings, the strings are what attach. They're not the ones like, the male isn't laying eggs inside the female and then, I mean, sperm in the female, and then she's laying the egg. You're just coming up with nonsense. <laughs> the, the string is where the sperm and the egg were. But each the baby, one... The babies were on the string. The female was laying a string, and the male was laying a string, and the two... St they both were laying strings. No, they were all both laying one string, but there were just two sets of them. We're going to have to replay the footage, folks. Uh, anyway, fascinating. <laughs> anyway, we've never seen frogs mate. Not like that. And originally, we just thought it was one frog, and then I was like, I'm pretty sure that's the one frog on top of another rock. They were laying a lot of eggs. I think maybe originally we did see Maybe. They were laying so many eggs. Okay, we made it to camp. It took us a long time. We were gonna settle uh, for like this pull out on this logging road and we happened to be droning and Evan saw this other logging spur uh, where he thought he saw a fire pit set up. And he was right. This is a perfect spot, perfect for our starling. Cause as you know, out here on Vancouver Island, there is no shortage of trees. Um, it's only been an issue once, funny enough, it was at a hip camp, so like at somebody's residency. I'm like playing with this leash. I've got my bear spray, you know? This is like a, uh, what do they call it? How you doing over there? What do they call? Uh, I just saw you frozen at time, what's up? What do they call a, <laughs> something that you carry with you, like a purse? A bag? No. <laughs> like a, oh my god no not an actual purse but like an accessory Woo! i haven't worn earrings in so long bracelets necklaces i haven't worn accessories in so long i can't remember the word anyway bear spray out here is basically an accessory so lives in my pocket in my bag in my hand whatever let's go pick some berries now that we set up camp you're lucky there's a bush right there the bush is right there What? She pulled me so hard <laughs> when that chipmunk came out of nowhere. <laughs> Someone needs to work on her leash walking skills. So we're eight years deep on the training. <laughs> it's not working. There's a squirrel in this tree. You wanna? You wanna vuka? <laughs> Do you want me to get you the face bug net? I think I might need some bug net, bug spray. The bugs, they're, they're here. And they bite, some of them bite. A lot of them are just gnats though. If you're interested. Hold on. <laughs> What's up? Hold now? on, one more thing. <laughs> if you're interested in these beautiful, exquisite, very well thought out recipes, check out our Patreon. <laughs> wow, what a plug. It was surely delicious.